wanted to draw your attention to page load triggers because there are various pages in your app that only logged in users should be able to view. And even though our data is often protected with good developer practices, we still don't want certain pages to load. For instance, someone could share with their friend this project page. That friend can then click the link and just land on this page. And even though the data probably won't be shown because we've set up our constraints correctly, we still don't want a page to load without data. It just won't look good. We always want to set up page redirects on certain conditions. So let's go ahead and set up one for projects. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the workflow tab and I'm going to click on new because this time our workflow has been created by an event such as a page load and not a button. So I'd use this new button here to start it. And here we have some options. So we can do various things. When the user is logged in, when the user is logged out, when the page is loaded, when certain conditions are true, etc. So one I definitely want is when a user is logged out. And the action I'm going to set is navigate them, go to page, and we can take them anywhere we like. So maybe we just take them to the login page. And this means that only logged in users will be able to see the projects page and the data will only be viewable based on how we have set up our search constraints. So go ahead, go to all of your pages that should be protected and make sure that you at least have one event created such as this one.